Good morning, I'm Lori Kruger. This week we will see the divine authority that Jesus demonstrated by healing and forgiving a paralyzed man. We can also learn from the faith shown by four friends who creatively brought their struggling friend to Jesus. They did whatever it could take because they knew enough about Jesus to know he was worth their effort. So there are two things that stand out to me when I read Mark 2, 1 through 12. The first is the power of friendship. The second, the strength of faith. When Jesus was in Capernaum, he, there were so many people gathered that there was no room left, not even outside the door. However, he was interrupted by some determined men who were trying to get their sick friend to Jesus because they believed Jesus would heal him. They had more than one obstacle to overcome. The first barrier they faced was their friend's immobility. The second challenge the friends faced was the crowd who refused to make way. The four were so confident that Jesus would heal their friend that they climbed the outside stairway and made an opening in the roof above Jesus and lowered the paralytic man down in front of Jesus. The friends obviously let nothing hinder their determination to bring their paralytic friend to Jesus. Now let's reflect on that. We may ask ourselves, do I have such faith in Jesus to do anything and everything I possibly can to bring my friends to Jesus? Have we ever done something as crazy or socially unacceptable as removing someone's roof to bring, some, to bring a friend to Jesus? And lastly, is there something that we're not doing because we deem it unacceptable to society, even though we know it would help to get someone into Jesus' presence? Everything these four friends and their paralytic friend has done is summed up in four words. Jesus saw their faith. Jesus apparently said nothing about that rent, that damaged roof or maybe that rude interruption. However, his first words were, son, your sins are forgiven. The love and care Jesus has for the man is demonstrated by calling him son. But why didn't Jesus heal the man physically, like right away? Well, physical healing isn't the man's greatest needs. Having our sins forgiven is of far greater, greater importance because of our sins is what separates us from God and can deny us from eternal life. In forgiving this man's sins, Jesus gives him a far greater gift than physical healing. The story does go on though. Jesus tells us exactly why he heals the man in verse 10. In his response to the scribes who think in their heart that Jesus has committed blasphemy. By forgiving the man's sins before healing him, Jesus knew what his biggest need was. The physical healing is a far less important than the salvation in someone's life. So as we continue through this week, please keep in mind that like the paralytic, we know our sins are forgiven and that's what really matters. If we are healed physically too, that's the added blessing. So let's praise God, our sins are forgiven.